reminding you to boost Buffalo. It's good for you. This is YouTube channel StaffAnnouncer.com Buffalo. It's four minutes before 10 o'clock. We're at 69 degrees. I have for you the sixth at Buffalo Raceway. That distinctive gravelly voice first hit the airwaves in Kansas in 1946. But by 1958, in the traveling fashion of most broadcasters, Stan had arrived in Buffalo via Cleveland. After a stint at WKBW Radio, Stan became the public relations director and play-by-play -play voice in the Buffalo Bisons Hockey Club of the American Hockey League. He also became close friends with another veteran Buffalo sports broadcaster, Ralph Hubble. He was the first one outside of my family to ever call me dad, and he never called me anything else. But he always felt, for some reason, a sort of a fatherly relationship with me, and uh, that's the way we had it. Stan was that kind of guy, close to folks, like family. And when he arrived at WBEN Radio in 1967, he began to make all of Western New York his family. He was the most giving person that uh, I've ever known. The Quinella, six and one or one and six, $114.60. So many sportscasters think only of proteins, but he was looking for the, the girls' softball teams or the, the little kids playing, the, you know, at Shoshone or something, and uh, he covered all those. And, of course, the update on all the other scores, football, basketball, and baseball, and uh, he'll take you right up until midnight. A ball of fire, Rick. You know, the guy was unique, one of a kind, and just had boundless energy. He was just, he raced from the newsroom into the studio. Couldn't wait to get the score on the air probably will best be remembered, as a matter of fact, for what he has done on his program for young people in our community. And I know I'll never forget what Stan did for an inexperienced kid who got his start doing news around all that preform sports, or how he said goodbye to all of us. Now this is Stan Barron. So long, be a good sport.